down from the Wyoming 40. Beck will swing it out and a pass coming from Brown wide open is Austin Cully. Touchdown BYU. Wyoming ranks 100th in the country in yards allowed. Look at Brown. Who knew he was a left-hander? That's a left-handed pass. I hope he's left-handed because he can throw 50 yards in the air on him on the money. Here's Bosco, a junior out of Pro Bowl, hometown product, 6'2 and a half, 188 pounds. This will be his first play of 1984. And a handoff. Going to be a halfback pass. Out of the back there, they got a man down at Koslowski. Oh, the good catch inside the 40 of Pittsburgh. Wayne Fowler lined up at halfback. A trick play by the Brigham Young Cougars. Lavelle Edwards going right to his bag of tricks on the opening gun. How about that? First and goal at the two. Unger behind Hall. Direct snap. Unger left side. Second touchdown of the night. A little bit of confusion as the Utah defense. Look at them all trying to figure out what Max Hall is doing. At that point, they direct snap to Harvey Unger. He takes it into the end zone. Love the play call. For the win, he's three of four on the day. He's made one from 30, 46, and 20 yards out. He's missed one from 43. This attempt coming from 32 yards out. Out of the hold of Alan Boardman. It's over, the Cougars win it. DJ Harper. In the backfield, lost a yard, second and goal. Back to Harper. Harper hit in the backfield. <laughs> Southwick to Harper. Harper going toward the end zone, driving, and he is stopped short. You make sure you honor the quarterback sneak with the big guys. Fourth and goal. Southwick pushing toward the plane, and he does not get there. Does not get there. Kyle Van Noy. What a series. And they line up immediately. And I wait for anything. And they snap it on fourth down, and they got it. Hit him. You know what that was? That's like a two-point play that they knew what they would run on a two-point conversion play. They lined up quickly, and they snapped the football, and they caught the Oklahoma defense still trying to get lined up and ready. First and ten for the Cougars. Nelson rolls out, wants the deep ball for Hoffman. Oh, did he catch that? He did! Between two defenders. Oh, the concentration. Comes down, juggles it. He's on the ground, catches it. One of the great catches of the year. 42-yard completion to Regal. Flushed out, he's got room on the right side. No red jerseys there. Doman for the end zone. Touchdown, BYU. 21 yards. 
Dillman rolling to his left again. They've got a, a moving pocket set up. The minute he doesn't see anything, he's like, uh-uh, I'm gone. The ball is tucked. He's not even thinking about throwing it. Turns on the Jets and then gets some good blocking downfield. And he's into the end zone, untouched. Not too deep. Difficulty, great difficulty running it back. And there goes Sakahima. Fifteen seconds to play. Blitz is on. Nelson sets his feet, throws, tipped up, and it's caught in the end zone for the touchdown! Oh. There's a flag on the play, but I believe it's a pass interference call against Utah State. Matunga in motion, flexed out to the near side, and Hall will go to the air again. Again, all kinds of time. The comeback route is complete to Austin Colley, who's got some running room. Colley down the sideline. One man a chance to get him, and Colley straight arms him and scores a touchdown. Austin Colley with the straight arm to free himself for the touchdown. Caleb Taylor was the last man who had a chance at him, and Colley scores. BYU going to the air on every down in that first possession. Beck, shotgun formation, Brown in the backfield. Four wide outs in this pattern. Beck with time, finds Curtis Brown out of the backfield. Brown into Tulsa territory, big yards, and still on his feet inside the 35, still on his feet inside the 20. Brown, good go all the way. Touchdown, BYU. And a linebacker tried to guard him, and it's no match speed-wise. Curtis Brown ran away from him. Then he took it into his own hands and broke about five or six tackles downfield. That's a huge play to start this third quarter for BYU. And the kick, another good one. Bounces in front of uh, Sikahema, picks it up on the bounce, cuts right up the middle. Oh, he's up gone. To the 50. He might. He could down, be to gone. The 30. down to the 30. Down to the 20. Down to the 10. He's <laughs> Again. Throws across the middle, pass is caught inside the five. Touchdown BYU, Cody Hoffman from 17 yards. Great throw and a great catch by Cody Hoffman from Riley Nelson. But the guy that makes this play is Matt Reynolds, the left tackle, playing football without a helmet on. He gets his helmet knocked off and peels back to throw the block that allowed Nelson to complete the touchdown pass. Boy, that is some play by the big fella. So BYU will have to punt once more. Matt Payne, Chris Carr, waits for it back at the Boise 27-yard line. Payne standing at his own eight. Payne gets a great pick, kick and backs up the return man to the 18-yard line. But Carr racing down the sideline, and he is decked at the 49. Chris Carr slow to get up. I mean, he just ran into a brick wall. Carr with another good return. Oh, and again, he's hit by Payne. I mean, that's like replay of the first time it happened back in the first half. That's unbelievable. Tell you what, that car has got a sore body, and, and nobody will believe that it came from a punter. Clock continues to tick, 7.06 to play. Detmer in trouble, gets out of trouble, still throws the football. Clever oh, makes the catch. He's at the 50. And Cutler may go. 
No one's going to catch Chuck Cutler at the 10-5 touchdown, BYU. What there is a not play a flag down. Ty Detmer. There is not a flag down. Can you believe it? Hawaii is stunned. They can't believe what just happened. Detmer was sacked. He was going down. He got away. He flipped it out to Cutler. But they love to get closer. Rice is passed. Yeah. Go for it. Seals the win.